now uh, of which print uh, another afternoon in this exhibition is a part. Um, my work in general has been always based on memories and uh, past experiences, um, but I always try to uh, draw it as neutral and abstract as possible. Uh, so that I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't reveal what was going on in the images. Um, and Where We Now is the first series that I am honest about uh, telling the story within images. Um, so Where We Now is a story about me and my dad after my mom's passing in, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, on Mother's Day in 2009, she passed away for <coughs> sepsis um, after a long suffering from uh, a liver disease. Um, the death was really sudden because uh, she, she had never complained about her conditions before. And um, she, uh, it, 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 it was only 10 days after she went into the emergency room. Um, so the family uh, was pretty shocked, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, well, <laughs> I'm forgetting things. Um, besides that, um, alcoholism uh, is an open secret uh, in my family for a long time. Uh, my dad drinks every day, um, I believe to be today as well. Um, no matter how much, and uh, he behaves when he's drunk. Um, my family acknowledged that it was troubling him and people around him, uh, including us as family, the most. Uh, but we never uh, talk about it. We were trying to hide it from anyone who doesn't know about it. Um, My dad started uh, drinking heavily uh, after my mom's passing. Um, sh he was drunk 24-7, I'm not exaggerating, uh, for one solid year. Um, and uh, my family suffered more from his alcoholism um, and his behaviors uh, than the loss itself. Uh, I would spend a lot more time uh, worrying about how much he will drink, um, what he's going to do, or what he's going to say to us. Um, and uh, my mom's passing was the first death I encountered within close family members. Um, but I literally didn't really think much about her um, that time because I was my mind was so busy uh, processing. Um, my dad's behaviors and uh, just get through the day without crying so much. Um, and this series is a recollection of uh, memories from the time. Um, dark rooms, shattered glass, uh, violent words, um, a lot of tears, a lot, of, a lot more alcohol and empty bottles. Um, I started making this image, um, it's called Rain, and uh, I printed it with these four linoleum blocks. As you can see, this is the plate, and I started uh, printing repeatedly um, on another sheet of paper. Um, you see a figure that's crying, um, seemingly avoiding rain, comes back again and again um, throughout the paper. Um, this is very similar to my past work. You would uh, see something and you'll feel something, probably like sadness or something, uh, but you wouldn't know what's happening in the image. I, um, I started printing in uh, repetition uh, because I thought a lot about repetition the act of repeating uh, when I started pre-making. Uh, unlike other media, um, I could make multiple images of a uh, plate, and uh, I thought I should have a reason that I'm doing this in pre-making, um, making multiple images of one image. 
Um, and thinking about reflecting the time back then, I thought uh, every day seems kind of same. Um, my dad will drink, will cry, will fight, um, and it will repeat again next day. Um, so I wanted a story that's coming back, the last image is connected to the first and it comes in cycle. Um, as I was making more images with this technique, I started making more images relating to my family issues. Um, and the uh, title then was a sentence or dialogues uh, so that I'm giving you more clues about what the images are about. So this one is called that you didn't mean to say that because I didn't. Um, you see two people in the image and uh, I didn't mean but if like somebody told me that this person becomes like this person um, um, where I intended this being me and this being my dad. Um, so it was interesting. <laughs> and this image's um, title is a dialogue. So it goes, let's go home. Isn't this home? Now, yes, this is home. It is my home here. Um, it's a memory of me kind of dragging my dad on the street because he didn't want it. He didn't want to go home. Um, he was like he would just like lie down on the street um, and insisting that it's his home. Um, Um, I, uh, as you can see, there is a diagonal pattern that you keep seeing um, in previous prints as well um, because I'm using four blocks. It's the same number of blocks for every plate and uh, it's repeating in the same order. The first image of this uh, being on the first and the fifth and so on. Um, so I couldn't really avoid having this diagonal patterns. So I try to kind of mix match the order sometimes um, so that I would not have diagonal patterns. Or I started experimenting with different compositions. This one is uh, repeating in the same order, but I will kind of turn the plate to see what, uh, what it's going to do. Um, when I print the whole thing. Um, and this one, okay, I think I forgot one print. <laughs> um, this one, I will print the four images. Um, actually, it started from the center, and I printed like um, <laughs> to the edges. Um, so I print the first image, like rectangular, uh, square format, and then another one in square format, and so on. And I would do some monotype techniques, like I sprinkled some magnesium carbonate to block out some of the images so that it looks like the glass was shattered, <laughs> broken and shattered. Um, and in the meantime, um, artist Ka Kyung Lee, who's making video art um, with prints and drawings, uh, recommended me to uh, do some reduction. Um, so she advised me to change the blocks while uh, between the printing. Um, so I started this one uh, called My Dad. So you will see some. Uh, minimal, cha uh, minimal changes, um, it's my dad drinking and uh, throughout the page he's uh, there, there are more alcohol that's dripping off the table and his face is kind of melting. Um, that's hot, that kind of explains why he was like 
kind of melty figure in other prints. Um, so I started, uh, not I started, I, I printed um, kind of proofs of this single images. So it's technic, I, I say, uh, I say that it's in the same edition, but they're all different. Uh, this will be the first I started, um, and this will be, I change, I, I, uh, there are five states for this reduction, but I only have like three uh, proofs of the modification. Um, and to show you other reduction prints, I started being more complicated and difficult. Um, this one uh, I printed in two different <laughs> compositions actually. There's like a, another set of three prints that are completely different. Um, but I had so much fun even though it was painfully longer. Um, so I will print four first and carve more and then print and uh, go on and on for uh, about 27 times, I think. How many were in the edition for that one? Uh, three, everything I just made editions of three. Um, so I would start printing six sheets or six sheets, yeah, I didn't, I thought, okay, I cannot really start from 20 <laughs> and pick good three. <laughs> um, and this one was challenging in, uh, in the way that I uh, break down the plates into two parts. Um, so as you can see, this one is darker on the top and this one is darker on the bottom, meaning I, uh, I, I would print this one from here and the other one from there and it meets in the middle and it overlaps and uh, go further apart. Um, I really like the uh, process of reduction printing um, in the way that you will notice uh, when you look at the prints from the far, um, you will see patterns or the uh, shade shifting or something else, something else abstract um, and uh, you have to look closely to see what the images are about. Um, uh, and this one as well, I don't really plan how much I'm going to carve. I just go with the flow. <laughs> um, and sometimes I'll feel like, okay, I carved too much uh, in the beginning. And I'll be, uh, like, I'll be lost and I, I would start carving more and more. And, and it's just like, Okay, there's nothing more to print. <laughs> um, whereas sometimes I would undercar, so um, there are too many, too much. Like the pace of um, carving is different um, throughout the page. Do you want to take questions? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any questions so far? <laughs> you can ask me anything. Yes? Uh, does that really relate to your experience as a Korean woman coming up here? Um, well, I for, I, uh, well, part of it, the part of the series is about the memories, what happened really, but uh, the other, like the major part is also about my feeling, so I would draw a figure seemingly me <laughs> um, and how, uh, how I would feel about the whole thing. Um, yes. does, does, does it make sense to you? Yeah, I'm just thinking it was um, a curator trying to curate a show about say, the immigrant kind of experience. Would this fit into the Yes, uh, definitely, because, uh, well, definitely my family and I am immigrant. I came here when I was 19, um, and uh, 
the title already now is the sentence that my dad kept saying um, when I found him on the street or in the apartment hallway or um, like in his room or in his living room, um, completely drunk, almost unconscious. And he will keep asking me, um, where are we now? Um, I think he was very lost after he, he lost his wife um, in a foreign country. And uh, it's the, we were like always trying to find um, like America being home, like the feeling, belonging. Um, yes, so it is. <laughs> but I didn't want, uh, I didn't want to emphasize so much about it because everyone's experience with uh, this kind of thing is different, and I wanted. Um, it's it's my hesitation still uh, not to talk too much about it, so I kind of minimize too, too many details in the images so that more people can relate to their own experiences. Um, as I work more about it and talk about it, show it to other people, I could hear other people's experiences or, or their personal stories um, that they couldn't forget but have weighed in their life always. Um, you know, when you're having this kind of experiences, I, I don't know about you, but I feel very isolated. Um, it's just like, it's me who's, you know, dealing with all these things. Um, but as I was talking to other people, I felt more connected in some ways. Yes. Um, I'm currently working on the book of the series with Women's Studio Workshop. Um, it's like in this, uh, this May, it's going to be 10 years after my mom passed away. Um, so I hope, it was my selfish re reason actually to start this because as I said, my, it was my family's unspoken promise not to say this to other people. Um, and only, only siblings know, my siblings know about this work. And uh, surprisingly, they didn't remember much from this time. Um, I think their mechanism was to block it out. Um, rather, uh, yeah. Th th yes. Um, so I still have this like drag why I'm doing this and uh, showing it to other people who don't know about it completely. Um, but I wanted to continue this to uh, get rid of it from my head um, so that I would remember them as images than uh, the actual kind of like flashbacks um, and uh, hopefully move on or carry on. Can I ask? Um, so you you like started working on the book already? Yes. How have you found it different? Because it's like a very like narrative, progressive. Like even on one page, it it changes throughout. How have you found it different to work in the format of a book? Uh. As I said, I didn't really make an order when I started this series. I didn't even know that I, I'm going to talk about this story. Um, I would just start uh, portraying an image that pops in my head. Um, and uh, it was difficult in the way that I had to like make an order with the images I already have. Um, and the later ones, or the most recent ones, I tried to, it was more of a connection um, between the prints I already have so that people will get uh, People read the story. <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> or comments? It's okay. <laughs> um, any reason that you just keep with a white and black uh, color combo um, versus like color? Because like, personally, I just like to stick with black and white as well. So I'm just curious, like. Um, colors are distracting from like the narrative, or you're not like as comfortable with colors. I'm just curious. 
I'm very bad at colors. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am really bad at color. Uh, I didn't take a color theory class or anything. Um, it's just that colors have so much emotion, I feel. Um, and uh, I just want to focus on uh, the image, then the shapes, um, then the colors. It was too much to deal with. <laughs> Yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, when you do rejection process, do you um, do you use your PA in the storyboard or do you just do so how do you you know plan out to make work on the main it's just rough uh, sketch in my head. I wouldn't really plan out uh, write something down. I would just roughly think, okay, I'm going to carve this part and this shape becomes this shape. Um, but 100% time, it was not as planned. <laughs> it was always uh, accidental in the middle because I didn't really plan out accurately. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Thank you.